All right, let's check out this new fully voiced prologue. Hopefully they add more voiceovers over time as well, because uh, that was that was my only real complaint um, was um, not enough voiceovers. I don't realize it's a budgetary thing. I, I totally get it. <laughs> but there are walls and walls of text here, which was killing my voice after like 50 episodes of streams. Excellent place for contemplation. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor sublimity. Hmm. Have we met? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Kunrad Voitveer, Master of Whispers. In the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius. At your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. Voiver bows his head and focuses his attention on you. My name is Ignatius, and so as to avoid any misunderstanding, I am a sanctioned psyker. I am aware of that fact. It would have been unacceptable negligence to have overlooked such a detail when compiling your profile. Fate bestowed upon you powers of witchcraft. Powers of witchcraft. To use them for the good of the Imperium. Yours is truly an unenviable lot. I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter who gave them to you, or what their origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship, your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it with honor. Okay. Why am I aboard this vessel? Why have I been brought here? so that you may fulfill your blood duty whatever obligations you had before they are henceforth null and void by order of the lord captain you have been requisitioned to serve the rogue trader indeed blessed by the god emperor your former position may have been different from conventional service as part of one of the institutions of the imperium but from now on a different fate awaits you. One chosen for you by the Lord Captain. I advise you to come to terms with this reality as quickly as possible. Hmm. I assume you had a goal in mind when you decided to seek me out. Let us address it. But of course, I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. All right. I'll lay claim to the stars. Gonna follow Coonrad. Yep. It's about time. Hmm. 
Victory awaits. A little too much uh, bark. I'm gonna have to turn that down. Auto saved. Oh, that save time feels a lot faster than it used to be. A new challenge for me. That there's the that character bark is happening way too frequently. That's crazy. One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. Run! The servitors have gone berserk. I gotta say, it's it feels much better with all the with more voiceover stuff. I realize it's just the prologue, but it feels pretty good so far. Annihilate them! You've been ambushed. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. That's not good. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's jump up. Never here. wavered in the face of adversity. And let's do a psychic shriek. Already done. <laughs> Get him, Coonrad. Didn't do squat. All right, I don't have I don't have a weapon, so all I have is ranged. So let's do another psychic shriek. Didn't quite get him. Okay, yep, I'm familiar. Let's just shoot him. Not a problem from me was your biggest mistake. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and her heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. All right, we need to talk Theodora. That doesn't have any voiceover. I'm afraid I must remain here. That's okay. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. Copy that. Whew. All right. None shall stand in my way. I'll lay claim to the stars. That is simply irrational, Lady Theodora. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide. Practically an admission of heresy. Then suggest an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation. No worse than my seneschal could have done. Make a decision. What will you do with Ion-6, Edelthrad? I'm gonna listen in silence. While you are considering your answer, Edelthrad, I wish to speak with someone else. 
Perhaps I shall hear something more interesting than incoherent mumbling. Approach. What is this? Is this someone from your retinue, Theodora? Do you permit your people to interrupt your conversations in such a fashion? I gotta say kudos to Owlcat for adding all of this dialogue. I realize it's not the whole game, it's just a prologue. This feels infinitely better than the game was at launch. Just this 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 part is amazing. Like I'm but I'm such a huge fan of voiceovers, so it's okay for there to be walls of text. Um the issue is as someone who streams and does content creation, we're expected to read, <laughs> read all the dialogue. And believe me, my voice was destroyed after like 50 live streams, like 50 episodes in. Um, this is nice. I, I only hope that they get the budget to continue adding more voiceovers for like their definitive edition later on down the road. Next patches and stuff. Not enough lemon and honey? No, it's way too much coffee and medication. I give that permission to those with something of substance to Herb say. Herbal medication. Let us see if it was worth <laughs> it. This is the second candidate for the title of my successor. Step forward. Consider this hypothetical situation. Ion 6. A new world on the fringes of the Coronis Expanse. High seismic activity. None of this is voiced before. Regular this magma is awesome. eruptions. Metamorphic rock deposits, prospects for large-scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say. But attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crew sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with this poisoned treasure? Hmm. I believe I could use my personal abilities to ascertain whether there was sorcerer on AN6, but it would require going out of the planet. Person. Ah, yes. Personal intervention. The surest way to leave yourself vulnerable. What say you, Edelthrad? Your brother in sorcery is not afraid to face danger. Unlike you. Yeah, it's a totally new experience, for sure. A psychic soul is a yawning gate for the ruinous powers. One could hardly trust a servant of the Imperium who is so eager to usher in corruption. I gave a straight answer to a simple question, which as far as I understand was still more than you could do, Edelthrad. Insolent, ignorant upstart. How dare you? Edelthrad, I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in his purview. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forgot the time. So, why are you here? I don't know yet. I was hoping you would clarify. <laughs> Clarity. A luxury that few of us can afford. There is a reason why I did not explain all the details of the question I posed to you earlier. Beyond the borders of the Imperium, seldom is one granted an opportunity to enjoy information in abundance. This, however, is one such opportunity. My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo of Scarus. I am a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity. And my rights and freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred relic. The <laughs> That's a big of name, trade yeah. <laughs> kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and heretical reign. 
and bode death and ruin to us all. Mm. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon, resources, people, riches, and mysteries, is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you are one of those with Fon Valancius blood in their veins and a rightful claim to this inheritance when the hour comes. So there's other heirs. Naturally. Some have yet to arrive on board, but you have had the pleasure of meeting one of them. Edelthrad may be somewhat disconcerted by the scale of the responsibilities that may potentially fall upon his shoulders. However, I have a good feeling about him as a candidate. Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of a warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then for that of their closest ally. <sighs> Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Kunrad Voitvir served me for many years before he made his mistake. Oh, yes. Why not? You would be, wouldn't I'm you? ready. The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump, and have not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things currently stand, I have doubts that you are suitable for the role of rogue trader. So why even waste your time with me? Impatience. I am rather fond of impatient people. They are not as quick to resign themselves to circumstance, and more eager to show initiative. Even if I do choose Edelthrad as my successor, I will still require loyal advisors. The skills and knowledge you acquired in your former life may prove invaluable here, in the Coronas Expanse. It says in your profile that you bear the brand of sorcery. Albeit sanctioned sorcery that is permitted in the service of the Imperium. I am accustomed to the presence of psychos at my side. More than that, I value their unique abilities highly. Perhaps that is why I am so intrigued by Edelthrad's candidacy. A rogue trader psyker could achieve great things indeed. However, psychos are fragile creatures. And as such, I would rather have a replacement standing ready in the event that something happens to Edelthrad. Yep, I would be happy to do so. Moreover, your courage has made you far more famous than you yourself probably realize. True feats of heroism will forever live on in the annals of the Imperium and bring honor to the Fon Valancius line. Thank you for clarifying. I have some time before the navigator gives the signal to initiate the void ship's translation out of the warp, and my presence is required okay. on the bridge. This is this is impressive. Um, like they, none of this was voiced before. Like this, there's all this side dialogue. Like, where are we heading? What about this incident? Is that so? Perhaps the technomats were careless during maintenance. Or it could be the wall. I remember that attack being a creature before. This time it was a servitor. Or perhaps there is something to all the stories about the ship being possessed after all. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. It totally is. <laughs> Lady Theodora, for the God Emperor's sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumors spread about by uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Such hearsay amuses me. Idira eagerly retells me everything she learns from the whispers of her unseen advisors. This ship is thousands of years old. 
It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctioning cogitators, and unused compartments to make ignorant folks speak of specters dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who yet live. I have In that no more case, questions. I shall head to. <laughs> Disturbances reported on the adjacent decks. Seneschal, if the need arises, protect the new blood. It is possible that the chance to prove your worth may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. Submit, and you'll die quickly! Let the blood flow! For now. Follow my lead. <laughs> Reduced to dust. I took care of this one. You get him, Abelard. Oh, Morts. Morts with his got his flamethrower. Death to non-believers! I bring ruin! Yeah, it's got some pretty intense lore from what I was learning. Okay, I really don't have, I don't have a weapon yet. Let's just get up here and do it. Suits my you didn't stand a chance. I serve the ruinous powers. Such is the will of chaos. I serve the ruinous powers. Ha, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> oh, it's, I love the plasma pistol. One fewer target. <laughs> God, Mort. All right. Can I get this guy? All too. All right, he's toast. Take a team with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single whoresum survive. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck, huh? Not bad. I have seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. What are your orders? Mort has gone on ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the Arch Militant requires aid. And be quick about it. Cool. Well, I gotta say, everything I've seen so far... Um, this was totally impromptu, by the way. I was just hopping on to record a video about this. And I figured I'd do it online tonight here on Twitch. But um, I'm not going to play through the whole intro. It's bedtime for me. Um... This is impressive. The first big patch that they've done for the game, and they've done all the new voiceovers for the prologue, which honestly um, had some voiceovers to begin with, but this feels much better. Also, the gameplay feels quite a bit smoother than it did the first time around. I can also tell you that the fans, the fans on my um, GPU and the laptop aren't really going off this time, and before they were definitely was heating up and the first time around i had to set the in-game fps at 30 because it was causing issues in stream labs and i was getting hitching and everything else and i i've got it set at 60 frames right now and it's running perfectly with stream labs so it appears they've done you know they listed a bunch of optimization stuff in that um in the patch notes um but i haven't had a chance to sink my teeth into because i had I had to get the game reinstalled, and so that took a couple of days because of just timing. Um, I'm going to probably... What is tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah.
Yeah, I might actually, um, I might stream some Rogue Trader tomorrow for my normal stream. Because um, I wouldn't mind checking out what the, my, my save game, matter of fact, let's load my save game really quick, just while we're sitting here, and I'll, I'll have it prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. Oh, I forgot I was playing with controller, not mouse and keyboard. Uh, 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 uh. Hard save game one. That's what I'm looking for right there. Um. Yeah, I'll probably stream this tomorrow. Of course, this will be airing at a different time, so... No, it won't. I'll cut it out and have it air tonight. Why not? Have it be a midnight viewing or something. Um, I'm gonna respect my main character. I have a I I have a different build in mind. Knowing what I know now about the game mechanics, I want to respect my main character. And then we'll probably just pick up where we left off. As long as the performance and everything is good, um, and I won't know that until I, you know, actually sink my teeth into it for a bit. Um, so we might uh, we might stream some Rogue Trader and see. Because it's been, we haven't streamed it in like six weeks because it was just, I just moved on to other things. Um, this is my main character. Here. My, my, uh, Soldier guy. Having a lot of fun with this character. It's a great game. If you haven't played it already, you should. Anyway, I'm going to bed. If you're watching this on Twitch, I'll be back tomorrow with more streams. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Check out all the playlists because I do a ton of stuff on YouTube. Play a lot of different games. Don't forget the Discord, Patreon, get a copy of my latest book down below. Links. See you next time, everybody. Stay safe. Happy gaming.